Well, howdy there, friends. Today we're embarking on a remarkable journey to catch a glimpse of how the cast members from Amen have changed over the years. We'll be revealing their true identities and ages, and you're in for a real treat as we compare their youthful days on the show to the present year of 2023. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all ready for this ride? Let's get this journey rolling. Number 1. Sherman Hemsley as Deacon Ernest Ernest is a bit of a rascal. He's often caught in the act of being dishonest, judgmental, and even hurtful. His actions don't always align with the teachings of the church. In fact, he's notorious for getting into all sorts of trouble with his harebrained schemes. But isn't that what makes Ernest such an intriguing character? He's a deacon who doesn't always act the part, and that contrast creates plenty of comedic and dramatic moments in Amen. Sherman Hemsley's portrayal of Ernest Fry adds depth and complexity to this character, showing that even those who are supposed to be the most righteous among us can have their flaws and quirks. People knew that Sherman Hemsley was the man when he jumped double dutch in the opening sequence. Deacon Ernest Fry wasn't just a spiritual leader at the First Community Church in Philadelphia. He was also a lawyer known for his many half-baked ideas. Mr. Hemsley, who had already gained fame through series like All in the Family and The Jeffersons, remained a beloved figure on television. After Amen, he continued to secure roles in both TV and movies and even ventured into the world of music, releasing an album. His presence was felt on numerous shows, including Martin, The Wayans Brothers, Sister, Sister, Family Matters, and Tyler Perry's House of Pain. Furthermore, he lent his distinctive voice to animated and live-action puppet shows like Dinosaurs, The Magic School Bus, and Family Guy. Deacon Ernest Fry played by Sherman Hemsley when he was 48 years old. Sadly, Hemsley died at his home in El Paso, Texas on July 24, 2012, at age 74, due to superior vena cava syndrome, a complication associated with lung and bronchial carcinomas. Number 2. Clifton Davis as Reverend Reuben Gregory Gregory, the gentle and ethical pastor of the church, stood in stark contrast to the colorful and sometimes chaotic character of Deacon Fry. He was the calm in the storm, the voice of reason, and a man who always had the church's best interest at heart. Portrayed by a real-life minister, Davis, who had previously starred in the 1974 series That's My Mama, the Reverend Gregory embodied serenity. His actions were mild-mannered, and his voice was always even-toned, providing a distinct counterpoint to Deacon Fry's boisterous and authoritarian demeanor. As a character, the Reverend Reuben Gregory patiently and gradually established his influence over the church, despite constant resistance from the deacon. While Deacon Fry often sparked fiery outbursts, Reverend Gregory remained a rational and composed presence. He became a guiding force in resolving the various challenges and predicaments that arose in the series. Clifton Davis was already well known from shows like That's My Mama, he had established himself as a successful songwriter, having penned the Jackson 5 hit, Never Can Say Goodbye. Additionally, he was a Tony-nominated Broadway performer. However, his life took a downward spiral marked by relationships with women and cocaine before he found solace in faith, which made his role in Amen particularly fitting. Following Amen, Davis continued his acting career, making appearances in numerous shows including Living Single, Sparks, American Dream, and Half and Half. He also took on roles in movies such as Any Given Sunday and Halloween Town High. In addition to his acting career, he released several critically acclaimed Grammy-nominated albums and pursued a successful career as an ordained minister. Notably, Davis served as chancellor at Elizabeth City State University in North Carolina for a period. He also became an active philanthropist, supporting programs such as the Children's Defense Fund, Trey Whitfield Foundation, Arise and Walk Ministries Foundation, and others. Reverend Reuben Gregory played by Clifton Davis when he was 41 years old, and now he is 78 years old. Number 3. Anna Maria Horsford as Thelma Fry. 
Thelma Fry, the socially awkward adult daughter of Deacon Fry, played a memorable and humorous role in many episodes of Amen. Thelma, who was romantically distraught and in her 30s but still lived with her daddy, provided a constant source of humor. Her childlike naivete created a comical contrast to her clever and often scheming father, the deacon. Thelma was known for being a spinster or something of the sort, but she harbored a long-lasting crush on the man of her dreams. In her eyes, he was handsome, polite, and incredibly attractive to women. This unrequited crush added an amusing layer of humor and charm to her character, making her a beloved and endearing presence in the series. Thelma's romantic adventures, or misadventures, were a source of both laughter and heartwarming moments throughout the show. Anna Maria Horsford, a seasoned actress in African-American sitcoms, began captivating audiences in the late 1970s with her supporting roles in series such as Amen, The Wyans Bros, and Read Between the Lines. Remarkably, she has been performing since the age of four and has a diverse acting career, spanning both television and film. Her acting credits include appearances in various shows and movies, including Friday, New Girl, Rhythm and Blues, Set It Off, The District, and The Shield. Her most recent film role was in A Medea's Family Christmas, released in 2013. Thelma Fry played by Anna Maria Horsford when she was 38 years old, and now she is 75 years old. Number four, Roz Ryan as Amelia Hedebrink. One of the first things viewers noticed about Amelia was her unwavering confidence. In a world where contestants are often thrown into unpredictable situations, her ability to remain composed and self-assured was truly admirable. Whether facing a daunting physical challenge or navigating interpersonal conflicts, her confidence shone through. Amelia's determination was palpable. She approached each challenge with a fierce determination to succeed. No obstacle seemed insurmountable for her, and her resilience in the face of adversity made her a role model for viewers who tuned in week after week. Reality TV thrives on conflict and drama, and Amelia was not one to shy away from it. While always respectful, she was unafraid to engage in debates or navigate interpersonal conflicts when necessary. Her ability to handle such situations with grace and poise added an element of excitement and intrigue to the show. A good sense of humor can be a powerful asset, and Amelia had it in spades. Her ability to find humor in various situations and make others laugh not only lightened the mood, but also showcased her down-to-earth nature. No matter where you seek solace, there's always someone ready to provide colorful commentary. Within the confines of the First Community Church in Philadelphia, this commentary came from the sister duo, Amelia and Cassietta Hedebrink. Roz Ryan, who portrayed Amelia, is an award-winning Broadway actress with an impressive list of productions to her name, including Ain't Misbehavin', Dream Girls, and Chicago. Her introduction to television began with Amen, and since then, she has become a beloved figure in television and film. Audiences adore her distinctive voice. She has taken on significant roles in shows like Barbershop, All About the Andersons, and The Ricky Smiley Show. Additionally, she has lent her remarkable voice to various animated favorites, with appearances in shows like Buzz Lightyear and Star Command, Disney's Hercules and its related show Kim Possible, The Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack, Adventure Time, and the role of Witch Lisa in The Looney Tunes Show. In the coming year, she'll be back on the Broadway circuit with the production All That Glitters. Amelia Hedebrink, played by Roz Ryan, when she was 35 years old and now she is 72 years old. Number 5. Jester Hairston as Raleigh Forbes At the core of Raleigh's personality was an abundance of kindness and compassion. He was the warm-hearted deacon of the First Community Church in the fictional town of Philadelphia. Raleigh's unwavering dedication to helping others, both within and outside the church, showcased his deeply caring nature. His acts of charity and support for those in need were a testament to the goodness that resided within him. As a deacon in the church, Raleigh Forbes was a pillar of faith and devotion. 
His unshakable belief in God and his commitment to his religious duties added depth to his character. Raleigh's faith was not merely a superficial trait, but a guiding force in his life, influencing his actions and decisions. This strong moral compass endeared him to both the other characters on the show and the viewers at home. While Amen often tackled serious topics, Raleigh Forbes brought a sense of humor to the show that added a touch of levity to the proceedings. A church isn't complete without its parishioners. In the midst of the controlled chaos brought by Deacon Fry's schemes and Reverend Reuben's strictness, there emerged a voice of reason in the form of the loyal and elderly church attendee, Raleigh Forbes, portrayed by Jester Hairston. Jester Hairston had a remarkable career that began after he graduated from Juilliard in the late 1920s. He had already made a name for himself in the realms of music, radio, and television when he reunited with Clifton Davis from That's My Mama to join the cast of Amen. Following his time on Amen, he made an appearance in Being John Malkovich and featured in an episode of Family Matters, which turned out to be his final role. Raleigh Forbes played by Jester Hairston when she was 85 years old. Hairston died in Los Angeles of natural causes in 2000 at age 98. Number six, Barbara Montgomery as Cassietta Hedebrink. At the core of Cassietta Hedebrink's personality was an infectious vivacity and spirit. She brought an exuberant energy to the ensemble cast of Amen. Cassietta's larger-than-life presence lit up the screen with her animated expressions and lively demeanor. Her character injected a burst of joy into every scene she graced. Cassietta was deeply rooted in her faith, a common theme in Amen. As a member of the First Community Church, her character embodied the values of spirituality and devotion. Her unwavering belief in God added depth to her personality and served as a moral compass throughout the series. Cassietta's faith was not only a source of strength for her, but also an inspiration to those around her. One of Cassietta's most endearing qualities was her quick wit and sharp sense of humor. Her character brought levity to the show with clever one-liners and comedic timing that resonated with viewers. Cassietta's humor provided a delightful balance to the more serious the Mies explored in the series, making her a beloved figure among fans. When Amelia engaged in chattering with someone, it was often her sister Cassietta played by Barbara Montgomery. Barbara, who had already established herself as a prominent figure in off-Broadway productions and earned an Obie Award, effortlessly transitioned into her first sitcom role in Amen. Following her time on Amen, she became a part of beloved TV shows, such as Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Living Single, A Different World, and Sister Sister. In addition to her television work, she made appearances in movies like Lift and Blackout and took on the role of director with her debut film. The historical piece Mitote, Cassietta Hettebrink played by Barbara Montgomery when she was 47 years old, and now she is 84 years old. Number 7. Elsa Raven as Inga the Housekeeper At the heart of Elsa Raven's role was her portrayal of Inga, the church organist. Through her character, she became an integral part of the spiritual and musical life of the First Community Church. Inga was not just a musician. She was the embodiment of grace and charm, endearing herself to both the characters within the series and the viewers who tuned in. Inga's presence at the church organ wasn't just about her musical talents. It symbolized her deep sense of belonging within the church community. Her character reminded us of the profound impact music can have in enhancing the worship experience and fostering unity among congregants. Elsa Raven's portrayal of Inga showcased the power of artistry to transcend the screen, leaving a lasting impression on those who had the pleasure of witnessing her talent in Amen. Have you ever watched a show that introduced a new character with a detailed backstory, only to see them vanish without explanation? In Amen, that character was Inga, the maid. Elsa Raven portrayed the Swedish housekeeper Inga, appearing in a few episodes before disappearing without a trace. Prior to her role in Amen, Elsa Raven had already built an impressive resume, with appearances in major films such as the film adaptation of A Streetcar Named Desire and The Postman Rings Twice. 
She continued her acting career, landing roles in well-known films and shows like Wise Guy, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Murphy Brown, Titanic, Seinfeld, and the short film There With Me in 2011. Chris played by Tony T. Johnson when she was 59 years old. Raven died of natural cause on November 2nd, 2020 in Los Angeles at the age of 91. Number 8. Bumper Robinson as Clarence Clarence, brilliantly portrayed by actor Clifton Davis, served as the deacon of the First Community Church. His character was deeply rooted in his faith, and he took his responsibilities within the church seriously. As a deacon, he played a crucial role in assisting the church's pastor, Reverend Reuben Gregory, portrayed by Sherman Hemsley in various church-related matters. What made Clarence truly unforgettable was his endearing personality. He was known for his kind heart, unwavering dedication to the church, and a sense of humor that often provided comic relief in the series. Clarence's personality was a delightful blend of faith, compassion, and a mischievous spirit. In retrospect, Clarence's character in Amen remains beloved by fans of the show. His personality, marked by faith, kindness, and humor, added depth to the series and resonated with viewers. Clarence served as a reminder of the importance of faith and community, and his comedic moments provided a lighthearted balance to the show's more serious themes. Bumper Robinson can trace his acting career back to when he was eight years old. He had a part on the television special The Deacon Street Deer. He also was featured in the miniseries North and South Book Two. Robinson began his entertainment career acting in films like the Dennis Quaid ad bumper. Robinson can trace his acting career back to when he was eight years old. He had a part on the television special The Deacon Street Deer. He also was featured in the miniseries North and South Book Two, 1985-86. Robinson began his entertainment career acting in films like the Dennis Quaid adventure Enemy Mine, 1985. In more recent years, Robinson shifted his focus primarily to film, taking on roles in movies such as the action film Behind Enemy Lines, alongside Owen Wilson, The Painting, and the thriller Death Valley, 2008, starring Eric Christian Olsen. He continued to work in television during this time, including a part in the series Bones. Robinson's most recent acting credit includes a role on the show Black-ish in 2014. Clarence played by Bumper Robinson when he was 16 years old and now he is 49 years old. Number 9. Rosetta Lenoir as Leola Forbes what made Leona Forbes truly stand out was her unwavering determination and assertive personality. She was a woman who knew precisely what she wanted and had no reservations about expressing her opinions. Throughout the series, her confident demeanor and unapologetic attitude remained consistent and refreshing. Leona's independence was another defining trait. As a widow who had encountered life's challenges head-on, she radiated resilience, serving as a beacon of inspiration to her family and the community. Her ability to confront life's highs and lows with grace and determination positioned her as a remarkable role model within the show. While Leona was celebrated for her assertiveness, she also possessed a delightful sense of humor. Her impeccable comedic timing and sharp one-liners injected humor into even the most serious moments. Leona's capacity to find amusement in everyday situations made her a cherished character, resonating with viewers. Leona's relationships within the Forbes family were at the heart of the show's narrative. Her interactions with her daughter Thelma, grandson Raleigh, and other characters offered a blend of heartwarming and comedic moments. Additionally, her deep-rooted faith was a consistent presence throughout the series, as she regularly attended church services at the First Community Church, led by Reverend Reuben Gregory, played by Sherman Hemsley. Short and sassy, Rosetta Lenoir didn't become a household name until later in life. America discovered her charm through her roles as Nell Carter's mother on the NBC sitcom Gimme a Break in the 1980s and as Mother Winslow on Family Matters in the 90s. However, Lenoir's remarkable career stretched far beyond her television fame. 
Before becoming a TV sensation, Lenoir was a Broadway veteran with a wealth of experience. She had even danced alongside her godfather, the legendary Bill Bojangles Robinson. In the 1940s, she ventured into experimental television. Furthermore, she founded a highly respected theater company. Lenoir had an insatiable love for performing, and she would take the stage anywhere, from Broadway to a convalescent home. She even performed Shakespeare in such unconventional venues, showcasing her dedication to the craft. Olivia Kendall, played by Raven Simonet, when she was four years old and now he is 37 years old. We really love the cast of the Amen. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you on the next video.